Hi guys. Uh, today, after uh, finishing a, a day of work building a, uh, a new woodshed, I um, decided we'd, I'd make a video on uh, what's been sort of a pet peeve of mine for a long time, um, but today really demonstrated itself to also be a safety issue. Um, so I thought we'd t uh, talk about for a couple of minutes the grain direction or the wood grain direction on tools like hammers, axes, sledgehammers, um, that kind of thing. It's, it seems like a lot of manufacturers don't pay any thought to what the uh, grain orientation is on the handles of the tools, um, but it makes a gigantic difference to the longevity of the tool uh, and to its strength and uh, today um, you know, the, really the safety of it, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so what I'm talking about with the, the grain on, on a tool, if you imagine a, a piece of wood, if, uh, if this were a piece of wood, you, you tend to have um, you know, sections of wood running in one direction. Um, and they're essentially, uh, by a natural process, uh, kind of glued together. And it makes the wood very strong in, in one direction and not so strong in another. So, this uh, little uh, booklet of, of papers here. Um, in this direction, you can see it's quite wibbly wobbly and weak, and if I were to bend it, the papers want to come apart, kind of in that orientation. Whereas if, my for if, if the forces that I was applying to it were more in a direction like this, along the length of it, it's much more rigid, and I would actually have to tear these papers in order to, to break the thing versus the force being in, in this direction, and these things can tear out. Um, so, you know, I had, uh, maybe as an example of one that's running in the right direction, I had a, an old hammer um, that I, I refinished a few years ago, um, whose handle, the grain was running in completely the wrong direction, and was split down the middle, so I had to replace the handle. And uh, it took me a while to find find the right one, but this is what you what you're looking for in a in a tool where all the force is all the bending forces are going to be in this direction as I'm striking an object. Any torque is going to be kind of like this. What I want is the uh, the grains to be all running in parallel like this, very similar to this piece of paper, so that these uh, these forces are in the, the strong direction of the wood. Uh, the old handle, and perhaps you can, you can see the, the lines of the grain in, uh, in this handle, are all running nice and vertically aligned in this direction. So it maximizes the strength of the handle. Uh, the old one, they were running this way. So when I was, would strike, they would tend to open up like the paper here being oriented in the wrong direction. So another example of that is this old axe that I found in the basement. And you can probably quite clearly see the lines in it are, are running in this orientation. Um, so when force, uh, as the axe strikes something, is put, uh, when, when force is put on the handle, it's going to tend to split these grains open and that's exactly what ha happened further down the handle. And so this needs to be replaced. Managed to find a handle whose grains run in the correct orientation. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be as close to correct as you can get it. So uh, it'll be a nice little project actually to uh, restore this axe. It's actually quite a nice head. Um, and we've got a handle that will fit him beautifully. So we'll, we'll, later I'll do a bit of a, a restoration. But here's why I wanted to make the video today. And why there's a bit of danger involved. Sledgehammer. Swinging over top of somebody's head decides to do this. And you can very clearly see that this wood is behaving in exactly the same way as this uh, pad of paper is. The grain is oriented in completely the opposite direction that we're supposed to have for strength, and those grains in, in multiple places let go. 
basically every piece of grain let go. And this thing very nearly fell on my buddy's head as he was swinging it. Probably uh, it wouldn't have been you know, a, a devastating injury, but you, you, know, you don't want an eight pound hunk of metal falling on your head when it's very easily prevented. And that, that, this here is the rest of the handle. And to prevent that, all the manufacturer would have had to do is instead of orient the handle this way, orient it that way. And then it would ha have the, the, the full strength that I was talking about or demonstrating with this piece of paper. So when you guys are out um, looking for, for tools, take a look at, at, at the handles that you're buying and make sure that if the, the forces are in this direction, that the grain is not running this way, it should be running that way. And if you're a tool manufacturer, educate your, your, your staff. If you're going to put a handle on a tool, um, just spend a few minutes and orient it the right way. It's, it's really, it's not that complicated to do. And uh, it, it's really amazing when you go to a hardware store to try to find a new handle, it's very hard to find ones who has a nice, uh, a nicely centered kerf, and whose grain is oriented correctly. But uh, anyways, I guess that's enough of a rant for, for now, but it is something for you to be aware of, and um, when you're replacing a handle or when you're buying a new tool, uh, keep an eye out for the orientation of the grain. Your tool will last much longer, and uh, you, know, you won't have a hunk of metal possibly fall on your head or fly off the back and hit somebody behind you. There we go. Take care.